Hi everyone. Well, I'm just at the van doing some chores, uh, one of which is I'm going to winterize for the season. Now, if you watched our last two videos, you know we really had a great time on our fall trip to the Okanagan. So nice, in fact, that we decided to carry on and go to an area called Paul Lake Provincial Park, which is near Kamloops. So we thought we'd share that video with you, as well as for those of you who've watched the channel, you know that when it's my birthday, I often go out for usually an arduous hike. Uh, this year was no exception, so we thought we'd share the trip I did up to a mountain called Mount Price, which is in Garibaldi Provincial Park. Hope you enjoy. We actually just came back from Ellison Provincial Park, which we loved. Yes. And it was just too nice a day to want to go home right away. And it's a reasonably long drive, so we decided to go through Kamloops, nice scenic drive to get there. And then it's only about, I don't know, what, 20, 24 kilometers more. And we came up to Paul Lake. And I think it's either five or six years ago since we were here and we're in the same spot, but it was just, um, it's not the best spot, I don't think, but it suited us just because it, had, it was open and had some sun so we could warm the van up. It's not, it's about 20 degrees right now. So, yeah, nice and, temperature. And right now the campground here is off as comfort surf because I think the reservations ended at on the 15th and I think they're open till the end of September. And for those people who are age 65 or older, um, the camp fee, which I guess is $18 right now, is half price. Yeah. So there you go. So we're just walking down the trail to the beach. I go up to Gibraltar Rock. We've done that before. And it's, well, I guess, three kilometers round trip. beautiful. We were here before, I was, my shoulder was good and I paddled in the pack raft. We're going to head up there to Gibraltar Rock. And by the way, if you're someone who wants flush toilets in your campground, I think you're out of luck in the campground. It's just pit toilets. But if you come down here to the lake, they do have flush toilets and geese. Okay, off to Gibraltar. Rock, that is. Mm, trail up to the rock. The first part of the trail from the lake is actually pretty steep. Not hand over hand steep, but certainly a good little cardio workout. And if our memories are correct, the end is actually quite a steep little bit. This part, almost flat. And from the lake to just behind us is one kilometer. And now the trail gets pretty steep. And you can kind of see where we have to go. Up the top there. And around the other side a bit. At the summit, I'll take a look to the east. Quite a bit of elevation from the lake. I'll check on my uh, GPS app and see how much. You can see there, directly ahead, is some homes. Park boundary, I guess, ends there. And I believe it goes at least partway up the mountainside to the south. Beautiful. All right, let's take a look at the other way. Oh, here's Mickey. I've been here for an hour. It's a lot than I remember. Yeah. <laughs> that last section, if you're coming up from the lake, and then you do the maybe an extra half K, a little bit less, the steep section. It's a good workout. Big bang for your buck, kind of. Quick hike, amazing views. Again, you can see a bunch of housing down there. And I believe there's, Mickey said there's a resort along here somewhere. It almost looks like if you look up top, green fields, beautiful meadows, no doubt. But from here, it looks like golf courses.
So that's Paul Lake. We came this way to the bluff and now we're going back that way to the campground. Yeah. A nice circuit. You can obviously continue on by the lake. And of course when we came down, we came down the steeper trail. Mm -hmm. And this two kilometer section is a pretty moderate grade. This dotted line is a pretty steep, um, hikeable but steep. And when you get up top, you're in elevation, I don't know, 980 meters, something like that. So fairly high up. Mm -hmm. Well, I certainly felt it. It's a very nicely laid out trail. We're just trying to talk loud because there's apparently some bears around. It's on the sign, it's the three honey bears. <laughs> three honey bears are, are just folks that haven't shaved in weeks. <laughs> says keep your eyes up and talk loud or sing. Yeah, I don't think sing. we'll be singing. <laughs> we'll sing Gordon's Mr. Bear song or yeah. Mrs. Bear song. One day. Yeah. And we're back to the campground. We're back. We're back. Nice evening. Let's see where Finch is. I think oh, he was sleeping. He was sleeping. Oh, Finch is very lovey dovey. Yes, I know. I know. Yes, very happy. It's cuddle time. Oh, yes. You're so cute. You're so cute. Mm. Everyone is ready. There's the belly. He won't let us touch it. No. He doesn't like to his belly touched. But he shows it to us I'm all. Talking the time. about Finch, not me. <laughs> I don't like my belly touched either. <laughs> All right, good morning. I'm off for my birthday hike up in the Garibaldi Park area. I've done this hike a lot. I won't uh, film too much, more just near the lake and then where I hope to get to. Hope you enjoy. If you follow our channel, you know I often try and get out for a nice adventure on my birthday. This time I'm heading up Garibaldi Lakeway and if all goes well I'm going to go up to a peak called or up to a mountain called Mount Price I haven't been there in probably oh, 20 years
you know the two lower lakes uh, are beautiful but once you come around the corner cross the bridge and see Garibaldi it's amazing water level is quite high today you see all the glaciers sadly in retreat over there is uh, Panorama Ridge two years ago I was up there on my birthday And that bump up there is my objective for the day. No price. Beautiful, these little, little islands. Looking over. You can look over and see the Sphinx Glacier. And again, that's Mount Price. Added me the tall one. I'm going to go up Clinker, which is directly on the right of it. Cross Clinker. And up to Mount Price, hopefully. Ah, so beautiful. Lots of volcanic rock in here. Here it goes up, and then I head off to my left. So I'm a little off trail, but I can see I'm working my way through these rocks and going up there. If I was uh, recording more on the trip, you'd hear me yelling, yo bear, every so often. There's uh, still lots of mountain blueberries here, so there'd be bears feeding, but not that many, I don't think. I haven't seen any signs. You can see the little islands down by the end of the lake. Black tusk up ahead. And back over there. Some of the glaciers. Alright. Onward. You know, my time getting to the lake was good. It was about two hours and ten minutes. Or probably about 10k. But it's taken me just to get from over there to here, which is probably three or four K, an hour and a half. The trail's really tough. Much tougher than I remembered. I see the glacier. I have to go up here and then across a little call and then up over there. We'll see if I make it. I've got a time to turn around, so close, but I might not make it. Just want to make sure I'm up before dark. Right now I'm at the top of Clinker. I'm going to go over here and down a little and then up that ridge. I've got enough time. Got about a half hour before my turn around. I should just make it. And this is why I think this is the best view in all of Garibaldi Park.
not a bad birthday. What views? Time to head back. Ah, so nice up here. Clouds blowing in. Very windy, I suspect, <laughs> on the microphone. A little bit shorter route. I don't have to gain so much elevation. But you can see if you stay lower, there's kind of a trail through this rocky field. Not quite so well marked, but I can walk myself around and then eventually get onto the same trail. There's the odd cairn. Saves having to gain a fair amount of elevation on the way back. And you can see there's more of a bit of a worn trail. I've got a long way to go around though before I go down. I took the route straight up because that's just my style. But I came down more on the right, and I think that would be the better route up and down. It was much easier coming down because it's not nearly as scree like. You don't have to go over the summit. There's trails going over the summit, but you can probably find a trail around the other way as well. Just easier, saves you a little bit of elevation. But I, I wanted to get on top of Clinker too. Two mountains in one. All right. Now, this part of the trail is mostly meadow, but you know, there's still lots of up and down, and I probably have, I don't know, another up and down in the end, probably like 500 feet more of elevation gain, because I've lost a bunch and then gained it up in some ridges farther down. Anyway, on my way, it only took me about 25 minutes to get down from the summit. That's how good that other trail is. Dozens of these things everywhere. Different types of fungi. But most of them are huge too. This trail is so rarely used, nothing gets disturbed. So we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. And Mickey, Finch, and I will see you next time. Oh, and by the way, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs>